also have it on the high points of my cheeks today. And look at that. It's just a Gorgina. It is so beautiful. A little bit warmer, or uh, not warmer, a little bit more red. No, I guess that's warm. Can I make a decision? Hey guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we are somehow through the month of March and it is time for Clean Beauty Favorites, monthly beauty favorites. And I'm really freaking excited to get in this video. Um, it's exciting that it's the end of the month, but it's also alarming because I feel like the last couple weeks of this month just sped through. And, and you know what? It's probably because it's like getting a little warmer out. So it, like the, the drabness of winter is like going away. So you get more excited. So time just goes by a lot quicker. Um, but I'm excited to get in this video. I cannot believe it's going to be April. Um, or it might actually be April when this video comes out. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm really excited to get in this video and get started. We have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. So I'm not going to keep yapping in this intro. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my March Clean Beauty Favorites. All all right, March Clean Beauty favorites. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna actually start with nails today. Um, and I have been using two neutral tones on my nails a lot. I really have been, I kind of wanted to step away from, I had a brighter color at the beginning of the month and I kind of want to step away from that because um, I was going somewhere with my girlfriends and you have to have fun nail polish color. And since then I've been using this color to do my own nails nonstop. Um, this is the shade Boss from Dazzle Dry. I love this shade. I've talked about this a ton on my channel before. For. This is a great shade. It would look great on most complexions, actually all complexions. If I'm being honest, I feel like it would look great on all complexions. And Dazzle Dry is great. Lasts really long for me. I can get um, two weeks wear out of Dazzle Dry. However, my nails grow really long. So I have a lot of grow out at the bottom. So I don't like to necessarily wear them for two weeks just because of how fast my nails grow, but I can get two weeks wear out of Dazzle Dry. So then the next neutrally shade that I've been loving is this one from Olive in June. This is the shade CDJ. I love this shade. It is more of a, has a little bit more of a gray undertone than um, Boss. You can see like side by side, but they are really beautiful shades. Love it. I mean, I love Olive in June. I talk about it all the time. Their top coat is elite. The only top coat I own, I literally have four in my nail polish drawer. Cannot run out. It's just so good, love. Okay, next, next we're moving on to brows. Now nothing has really changed in the brow world for me right now. Um, I've kind of been going between like the Ami Cole brow pencil and brow gel or my kind of tried and true trusted favorite, which is the um, Rose Ink Clear Brow um, Gel and then also the Westman Atelier Brow Pencil. I just love the Westman Atelier Brow Pencil. Like it, it's just so good um, and I, I did, that's what I did with my brows today, love. Um, but also been loving the Ami Cole one. I've just been grabbing these two the most this month. Okay, next. Next, I'm actually gonna move on to concealer because I haven't been using complexion products that this month month that much in my everyday life. I've still been trying and testing and all of that, but when I'm when I'm like not testing anything and it's a day where I know I'm just gonna be going running errands or even going out to dinner or whatever, I haven't been wearing foundation. Just cause my skin had a little bit of a bumpy situation from I just got back from a trip with my girlfriends earlier in the month and from the sunscreen and how much I sweat and also travel, my skin always gets like little skin colored bumps all over it. And so after that, I usually give my skin a break for a while from foundations just so that, yeah. Just because I, I refuse to go back to like Bumpy Canyon, which is what I was at the beginning of the month. So anyways, let's move on to concealer. Um, I've actually been loving this color corrector from Exa Beauty in the shade Peach. The Exa Beauty color correctors have come back in stock. I've gotten all the notifications from places that they came back in stock because I was stocking this. I was stocking this because I wanted the shade Peach. I also have the shade Deep Peach for that, but that's for when I'm more tan. And they were out of stock for what felt like six months or something absurd. Like it was such a long time that they were out of stock. They're all back in stock. And I actually got this from the Exa Beauty website, but they are available at like Ulta. I got the back in stock notification from them and somewhere else. Um, but I really, really love this. I actually used it on my eyes today. I do the smallest amount, blend it out with my finger. This literally doesn't mo like move. The dry down is great. Some other, like other color correctors don't have that like dry down where it just kind of like dries and then doesn't budge 
most color correctors in my experience are ones that are more like a true concealer style texture with how they dry down and i don't love that because i want it to be really really thin so that when i put my concealer on top it's not like extra layers of thickness if that makes sense Ooh, i don't know I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So I've been loving this. It's so, so good. Again, I wear the shade Peach and Deep Peach um, or Dark Peach. This one and the shade above it, um, I wear and they're great. Okay, next. Next, I have been using this concealer a ton this month. This is the shade three from State Beauty. You know I love this concealer. This is such, that's actually what I'm wearing in my nurse today too. Um, I really love the like glow it gives but also how it like reflects so my dark under eyes aren't as apparent and it just really like almost feels like it erases them even though it's more of a sheer light coverage i love this really good i also have the shade four but the shade four i either mix with the shade three or the shade four i wear it when i'm more tan which i'm not at all right now okay next this concealer here from Coolfee. I have the shade Mango Drop in this. I have backups of this because this is such a good concealer. I love this. Um, and this is like a medium coverage, has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I love. And it's just, I mean, I've talked about this a million times. I love this concealer. Um, and I really, the reason I have backups is because I'm running low. Like I feel like I'm like here on it, which is pretty impressive to run out of a concealer. The only other concealer I've kind of run out of recently is the Rose Ink one, which you know is another fave, but this one has been non stop this month okay next next we're moving on to blushes last month i didn't have as many blushes as i do this month but i've been back on my blush train so the first one that i've been using non-stop is this shade specifically from colfi i've been using the other one i have um, a lot too but this one has been non-stop this is the one that's what is the sandalwood swirls yeah sandalwood swirls i also have a more pink one that i also really love but this month i've just been loving this one a ton it's so good the dry down is amazing it doesn't really budge it is just such a good formula i don't know i'm obsessed i have a whole review on these so i'm not gonna yap on but i love Okay, so then I've also been grabbing these. I'm actually wearing a combo of these two on my cheeks, the Say Beauty um, blushes. Uh, this, these are in the shade Chili, which is so beautiful, and the shade Rosy, and I did a little mixy poo of the two, and it's just like a, I love this formula. It gives you like a nice dew, but it isn't too dewy, but it looks, gives you a really healthy looking cheek. Um, I don't know, I love these blushes. I've talked about them a million times, so like none of you are surprised. The next, this one, the Ami Lab, this has been like the stick blush that I have been nonstop grabbing this month. Um, this is the Ami Lab blush in the shade Dune. This is their, multi, it's technically called a multi-stick, I believe. So you can wear it on your lips, eyes, whatever. Um, I love this. This is such a beautiful shade. It is just, I did a whole review on this, um, but like this is, I mean, this sandalwood swirls are kind of similar in shade, um, but I love this. And if you like the shade Ladybird from Ilya in their multi-stick, this is similar. It's not a, a perfect dupe, but it is similar in tone. And I love that shade. It's just so good. It's gorgeous. And then next, a powder blush. So I've been loving, I mean, you know how I feel about powder blush. I love a powder blush, especially for an event or just for longevity, I love a powder blush. I know they're not technically trendy right now because it's cream and liquid blushes that are kind of like running the world right now, but I love this. So this is from Bare Minerals in the shade Kiss of Pink. Um, and this is their, what is it, Gen Nude, yeah, Gen Nude Blush Bronzer. And I just love these. I have all three shades. I also have Kiss of Rose and Kiss of Copper. They're gorgeous. The pigmentation is amazing. They melt into the skin. They remind me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting blushes. They're just love. Okay, next, let's move on to powder. So I've been actually grabbing two powders a ton this month, which is impressive. Um, first, no, I talk about this. I talk about this all the time. I'm like, it's, are you sick of it yet? The Ami Cole Setting Powder in the shade, just the translucent shade. I have been loving this. Um, it's just so good. Sets everything into place. It isn't too matte. It's like a soft matte. My dew can kind of come through, but like it kind of, it's not even dew. And maybe it is dew, but it gives when my dew, like the oils kind of break through the powder, um, it gives almost like a radiance to my skin. I don't know. I'm obsessed. Next. This one, the Westman Atelier um, Setting Powder. And I have the shade Translucent in this one. I did film a review of this and that should be up before this video. And I have been loving this. It is so good. I mean, I've been loving it since I got it. Like what feels like 
honestly, I feel like it's been four months or something. Like I've had this for very, maybe it's longer than that. I've had this for a very, very long time, but because of how unbelievably expensive it is, I actually cannot believe I was like, yeah, sure. Let me just buy this. Um, because it's so unbelievably expensive, I really, really tested for a long time and I made sure I was like hot in studio lights or hot like when I was on a trip or hot, like I went to a hot climate with my girlfriends. And so this was a good tester there. And this, I just loved and it's just so good. And if you're the type of person that doesn't love powder, um, but you do want to set your under eyes or you just, you know, cause setting your makeup does really make a difference of how long it wears. So this is like definitely the vibe. It's just very expensive. The Ami Cole is also just as beautiful and wears just as nicely, but this one's packed in a pan and this one is a loose powder. So it kind of depends on your preference. This one I kind of view as more of a blotting powder. I mean, I still set my face with it, but throughout the day I will have it in my bag and I will like have like one of those, what is it called? Where are they? Oh, one of these these like powder puffs um because i love these even if i don't have product on them to kind of just tap into my face and kind of like take down dew if i want or just if i feel like my blush kind of got messed up i'll kind of use this to kind of course correct um and i will use that to kind of set if i need to especially if i'm in a warm climate because i do have combo skin anyways talked enough about that girl stop it so the next the first one is the tower 28 in the shade hammer this is their new product i did a whole video where i was talking about this um and this shade is beautiful for me it has like the perfect warmth and um neutrally -ness to it it's a very like neutral product if you want something that's more cool toned and you're my complexion this might not be for you but i really enjoy the way that this one wears it's beautiful let me just do a little swatchy because i have another one that i'm gonna talk about so this is the shade and it's beautiful and it blends out really really easy if you've ever used the tower 28 blushes or even their um bronzer their bronzino this blends out just like those like just a dream just so creamy beautiful the next next a product that i had lost for a very long time and now she, then i found it um this product from westman atelier this is their contour stick i don't know where it it was like i have a bunch of drawers of makeup and it was not in the drawer it was like behind where i couldn't see like way behind hidden it was it was annoying because I do really enjoy this product. Um, this is the Westman Atelier um, Contour Stick in the shade. What is this? Truffle? Yes, in the shade Truffle. And it's a beautiful shade. I love this product. It melts into the skin. It has a really nice... It isn't oily. Not oily, but it doesn't... I don't know. I feel like the way that it blends is just if like if you have an event and you want your contour to last, I definitely would go with something like this as opposed to something else. It is darker and a little bit warmer or not warmer, a little bit more red. No, I guess that's warm. Can I make a decision? Um, a little bit warmer um, or more red than the Tower 28. These kind of work as a bronzer contour combo for me, which is really nice and I really like these. Okay, next, highlighter E products. The first one is the Kosas Glow Ivy. I've been loving this, mixing it in with blush. Um, and I like to mix it with the Say Beauty blush a little bit, not too much because it can become a little too it just doesn't it doesn't give me the vibe I want when I apply too, too much of this with um, blushes, but I do a little dot mixed in with the Kofi one as well. Um, and the other Kofi one that I have that is the more pink tone, I love um, to mix these in. It just gives my cheeks such a nice glow. Just don't over apply it because it does have more of a metallic vibe. I mean, you can, you do what you want, <laughs> but it does have more of a metallic vibe to it. Um, and it does have like shimmer particles in it, not glitter. I don't, I personally do not find this glittery, but it does have shimmer bits in it. So when you over apply, it can be a little bit too much, but I really, really enjoy this mixed in with blush. It just makes my skin and my cheeks look so dumpling, dewy, like just gorgeous. I don't know, youthful, love. Okay, next, I am back on my Minori highlighter kick. I have been loving this highlighter. It is just, oh my God. It is the thinnest, most gorgeous. Look at that sheen. Can you see? I hope you can tell. I also have it on the high points of my cheeks today. And look at that. It's just 
gorgina. It is so beautiful. It is very thin in the best way where sometimes like, you know, when you apply blush, it's a little bit more apparent because it isn't the thinnest formula. This is so thin. It is gorgeous. Um, and I love, 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 love. We're moving on to eyes next. Okay, so I have been grabbing this, still nonstop, the Jones Road Beauty Mascara. I've just been on a Jones Road Beauty Mascara kick. I am wearing it on my lashes today, but I also have individual lashes on because I went crazy today and just decided that I needed to apply individual lashes, and I'm actually really into it. Do you guys like to apply individual lashes? Let me know down below. But I have been really enjoying this mascara. It's just so freaking good. I love. Okay, next, next we're moving on to eyeliner. I've been grabbing these a ton this month. The Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeliners, love. Um, I have the shade brown and black. I love to smudge, I don't know. They're just so good. They give such a beautiful look, especially if you want like a little bit of a smudgy look to your lashes. I'm just behind loving. So, so good. Um, I've also still been loving the Persona Cosmetics one, but this month I've just been on a kick with th these. I don't know. Um, just my fave. Okay, next, next, let's move on to eyeshadows. I actually have a surprisingly a lot of eyeshadow palettes in front of me here today, even though I might not be using all the colors in the eyeshadow palettes. I've just been grabbing these a ton. The first thing that I use that isn't actually an eyeshadow palette is this. Um, this is, what is this called? These are like the matte eye liquid eyeshadows from Ilia. I love this product. It doesn't budge. It's so good. And this is in the shade Tannin. It just, it's like the most beautiful color. Let me just do a little swatchy poo on my hand for you. I mean, look how pretty that is. And I just blend it with my finger and it literally doesn't budge. It's so nice. Um, and I can pull it on my lower lash line. And I just really love this shade. It's just beautiful. Um, and it has like the perfect warmth, but it is, it's a little bit more than if you just did a bronzer, if that makes sense. I really enjoy these. I highly recommend checking these out. Okay, next, next let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. So there's one that I've been grabbing the most, but then I have two other ones that I've been grabbing too that are powder. So I want to mention them, but this is the one that I've definitely been grabbing the most. The Rowan Beauty Gold Lust Eyeshadow Palette. I've talked about this a thousand times on the channel. I love it. I've actually used a little bit of this shade right in the middle of my eye today and I just love the way that it looks. I just love these eyeshadow palettes. The Rowan Beauty eyeshadow palettes are unmatched in quality. They are just so freaking good. I am obsessed with them. Highly recommend. Okay, next. Next, we're going to talk about an eyeshadow palette where I haven't been grabbing all the shades in it because when does that ever happen? When do you grab every shade in an eyeshadow palette? Oh, maybe you do. I don't. Um, but I've been grabbing a select few and I've been loving. This is the PYT um, Cool Crew Nude Palette. And I love this palette. I mean, I've talked about it a ton on this channel, but this is beautiful. I've been grabbing this, this, this shade, also this shade. I also really like these lighter creamy tones, just beautiful. And then I've also been grabbing the Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette, and I just love this. Um, so, so pretty. And I haven't talked about Persona that much on this channel recently, just because I've been grabbing a ton of other stuff um, and making sure I'm kind of going and using other things because I literally was nonstop talking about them, but still love their eyeshadow palettes. Okay, next, next we're moving on to lips. So this product, I actually don't know where it is. It went missing in my apartment, go figure. But um, I have been grabbing the RMS, look at, this is so janky. I have been grabbing the RMS Lip Lights um, Lip Balm in the shade Bare a ton. I have a video where I talk about tinted lip balms and lip oils that I it, like I just released like a couple videos ago. So if you want to see me try it on, go to that video. But I love that product. It's so good. I feel like it's in the pocket of a, a jacket or something like that because I used it like two days ago and I haven't been able to find it since and I, I feel like I lose stuff constantly. It's infuriating, but I love those. They're so good and I have a full review of it in that video, but so good. Okay, next. Next, I want to talk about these, which I also talked about in that video, the Rowan Beauty Lip Liquid Lip Balms. I'm obsessed with these. They're so, so good. Um, so hydrating, so creamy, beautiful pigmentation. I have two shades here today. This is the shade Lola and then also the shade Charlie. Charlie is my most used. I mean obviously look at that 
unreal. Um, I love this liquid lip balm. It's just so good. And I can't have enough of them. They're great. And this shade Lola is beautiful if you want a true like more beigey nude lip color. Very, very good. Okay, next. Next, lip liner, which I want to kind of reapply. So this is great because um, I'm wearing this lip liner and I feel like it's faded now. Um, this is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Lip Liner, specifically in the shade 4. This is my favorite shade of all the Victoria Beckham lip liners besides the shade 05. Um, 04 is just like the perfect pinky tone. Um, I do, my lips are a little bit more on the pink side. So this is like a nice your lips, but a little bit better shade for me. And I always get complimented when I'm wearing this. It's just, oh, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. Okay, next. Next, we're move, kind of moving into the skincare, but sticking on lips vibe. So I have been having very chapped lips as of late, or as of late, just the entire existence of uh, winter. Um, and so I, this is a product I used to love all the time. And then I stopped using it for a little bit and now I'm back on it and I can't live without it. This is the sugar um, from, this is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy um, Smoothing Lip Primer. And it just, you put it on your lips and it completely, if you have like flaky bits, completely smooths them out. It is truly the best thing ever. I put it on morning and night. So right before I do my makeup and then right before I go to bed and it just changes my life. And every time I stop using it and I use it again, I'm like, why was I a dummy and stop using it? Why do I hate myself? Do I want chap lips? No. This is the thing that like changes my life. Okay, now let's move on to body care. So first, deodorant. Um, the Kosa Sport, this is a fresh one and I love it. I just, I was running low and I was starting to get stressed so I have had a backup, thank God. Um, this is the Kosa Sport deodorant. I love this. This is the shade Serene Clean, the best scent ever. It's just so good. Keeps my smell at bay. Again, I've said this a thousand times. I am sm like smelly when I sweat. So this is keeps me smelling fresh and I like to apply it in the morning. And I also like to apply deodorant at night because I sweat at night and I don't want to wake up and be like, oh my gosh, I need to like get it together. So it's great. Okay, next. Next, this body oil. This is the OC um, body oil and it's just so freaking good. It is so good. It smells like oranges. I'm obsessed with it. I It sinks into the skin, It like, but it doesn't sink in so fast that it's like, you know when something is like so thin and sinks in so fast that it almost like disappears? Like this, you apply it and it feels luxurious and it sinks into the skin and it's just like gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. And if you are struggling with dry winter skin, this, I've been grabbing this a ton. Also, um, another thing, if you've been grabbing, if you've been having dry winter skin, can I get it together, is the Iota um, body serum. I just ran out of that one last month, so I haven't been grabbing it a ton this month. Obviously, I'll have to repurchase it, but that one's also really good if you have dry winter skin or you're just feeling like you are just need some. Really, really good. Love. Okay, next. Next, I want to talk about hyperpigmentation on your body, and this is for my people out there who just struggle with back knee, chest knee, or like hyperpigmentation just on your body. So this is from the brand Versed, or Versed, I think it's Versed, and this is their body retinol. I've been using this for months, and it truly has made the biggest difference in my hyperpigmentation on my back specifically because it's just the worst. So I've been loving this. I've repurchased this like this might be my fifth bottle or something like that and I will not stop purchasing it. It is just so, so good and it really, really helps my my skin. I just love this and it's also nice to have a retinol on your body, pull it down your neck if you're not pulling, if you're not using retinol on your neck, it's gonna, it's great. Love this. Okay, next, next we're moving on to the face. We just have a couple products, not too many. I have been grabbing this a ton this month um, and I did, this is new to me, but I got it not this month, but the lot like two months ago. And I've been loving this. This is from Caudalie and this is their grape water. And I spray this on my face before I apply my um, skincare. And I've just been loving it. Um, I also will spray this on my face if I'm feeling like my face is feeling like tight or dry and it just needs a little bit of something to like get it back to a hydrated, plumped up looking place. This is really, really great. I really, really enjoy this. And the mist is really nice. Let me just show. I hope that you can see that. Probably not, but it's a great mist and it's not too intense. It's nice. I really enjoy it. 
Okay, next. Next, let's move on. Oh, let's do this. So I have been grabbing this Dr. Jen Dennis Gross um, vitamin C serum a ton. I love vitamin C, but not all of them will work for you. You kind of have to find the one that works for you. And this one's really great. And it's not... Um, it's like kind of in the mid price range, which I really enjoy. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again, just as a warning. Um, this does have kind of a hot dog water smell, but a lot of 15% vitamin C's that um, are kind of in this dropper style bottle. Not all of them, but a lot smell like hot dog water. Some are more intense than others. This is kind of also mid. It's not... Um, Maybe it's more towards the end now that I'm thinking about it um, in terms of how strong of a hot dog water smell it has, but it does kind of smell like that. So just be warned, but I do enjoy this. Sinks into the skin. Great. Love vitamin C. Okay, next. Next, I want to talk about, ooh, let's talk about sunscreen. So I've been using this sunscreen a ton this month. This is the glow screen. This is just like the original um, shade. They also have one that's more of tan shade. Actually, they have two more now if I'm remembering correctly, um, and that I'll grab the more tan shade um, when I get more tan. But I really, really enjoy this SPF 40. It can't go wrong. I mean, it gives me like a glowing complexion. I actually didn't wear it on my face today. I was wearing just a plain sunscreen because um, this is a foundation I'm testing and I wanted it to not, you know, you want it to see what it's going to look like without a additional boost of glow that this has. Okay, next. Next, the Ella Luz Beauty Oil. I'm back on my Ella Luz kick. Um, I like to take a little bit and kind of apply it and just kind of rub a little bit and then apply it under my eyes and I tap it in until it gets tacky. Don't just apply it and then be done t until it's tacky and then I move on to the rest of my makeup um, and I do it. I don't, oh, sometimes I'll do it on top of eye cream depending on how dry my under eyes are, but sometimes I just do this without, actually majority of the time I do this without anything underneath and I just tap it in and I just love how makeup sits on it. I love my under eyes really enjoy it and I feel like it really helps plump like puff out Ooh, puff out is not a great word but like helps make my under eye lines kind of disappear because it's so hydrating it's really really nice I love this product I highly recommend I've talked about this a ton um in videos before but I really really like this and um a little bit of this goes a long way which is really nice um even if you're like just patting it onto your face like on top of your face cream at night and you pat this on to kind of really keep it super hydrated this is great and yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for my March Clean Beauty favorites. I would love to know what you have been loving this month. Let me know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.